Montana, a big state with even bigger secrets. And one mystery that will likely remain unsolved is the disappearance of territorial governor Thomas Francis Marr. An Irish-born revolutionary, Marr escaped British imprisonment in Tasmania to become an American Civil War general, popular public speaker, and interim governor and secretary for the then Montana Territory. But on July 1st, 1867, in what would be his last act as a Montana official, Marr mysteriously disappeared in Fort Benton while on a trip to retrieve firearms from the U.S. Army. And that is where the agreed-upon history ends and the mystery begins. One of the prevailing theories is Marr got drunk and fell overboard a steamboat he was on, drowning in the Missouri River. But this, according to Mike O'Connor of the Thomas Marr Association, doesn't quite add up. That's dispelled because he had dysentery. He wasn't drinking that day. Another theory is Marr, who had no lack of rivals, was murdered by a Montana senator. Wilbur Fish Sanders just happened to be in Fort Benton that day. And Wilbur Fish Sanders is Marr's arch enemy. Did not like each other at all. So, you know, the, the story is maybe he was up there to uh, murder Thomas Francis Marr, or the vigilantes were there uh, to, to help him because he was a part of the vigilantes. This murder story has some evidence to it, according to O'Connor, because of what Marr thought the soon-to-be treasure state could become. He wanted a representative form of government for the immigrants and the miners. Um, you know, there was a faction, his political opposites, that did not want a representative form of government. Mars' body was never found, adding fuel to the mystery and increasing the probability that we will never actually know what happened. A somewhat fitting end to a larger-than-life historical figure. If you or anyone you know has any information about the whereabouts of Thomas Francis Marr, please let us know on our social media pages. And if you'd like to learn some more of the theories surrounding our then acting territorial governor's death and disappearance, check out this story on our website. Reporting from Helena, Andy Curtis, MTN News.